you're all volunteers and support the grassroots, the shop front of the sport. And at the end of the day, this is why we do it, to enjoy the game, enjoy the sport, and watch some guys out there that are uh, at a really great level, legends of the sport, and hopefully you get a, a nice feeling and buzz about uh, not only having a drink with somebody the week, but enjoying the tennis in Adelaide. Um, boys, as twins, right? Yeah. Do you have those little connection powers? You know, like the Wonder Twin Powers used to have their ring? They do all ESP. Yeah, do you have any, like even as kids and that, did you notice any little, like did you get yeah. hurt, you hurt your arm and you were at school going, oh geez, my arm hurts? No. Uh, we, have some, we have some freaky twin moments. Uh, he moved to Miami the same day we went shopping. We didn't even talk. He bought the exact same couch in Miami that I bought for my house. No way. Same color, same size. Really? It was, exactly, it was freaky. Yeah, that was, that was a weird one. It must be pretty bizarre because you're trying to be the best player in the world and I'd imagine at some stage you're probably not even the best player in your bedroom at times when yeah. you're kids. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. well that was like our, our parents' philosophy is we were both trying to be number one in the world. Yeah. Um, and uh, you can't be number one in the world if you're losing to your brother. Um, that's sleeping right next to you. So, um, so they, they didn't have us play against each other until we were 16. I mean, we were meeting the finals of every local tournament yep. um, growing up, and we'd get to the finals of the tournament, we'd just flip a coin, <laughs> we'd flip a coin share the trophies. So, um, so how did you go? We just, you we just had each one. Other, yeah. did you, did no, you, we would just you go head to go head in the final. Yeah, we'd go head to head, but we wouldn't play the match. We would flip a coin. One of us would take the winning trophy, the finals, but we shared the trophies, put them on the wall. But would you play the uh, match itself? No, 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 so no we, never play the, the we never played the match. They'd be mad. Uh, really? And people started buying tickets once we got like 17, 18, yeah. and we had to start playing. <laughs> Coming up 40, how, guy, how long do you guys intend to, to stay at the top level before you um, retire for the Masters? We're taking one uh, one tournament at a time. But not even yeah. one year now, it's one tournament at a time. Yeah, look, we're, we're looking to finish this year for sure. Uh, yeah. We're feeling good as long as we're having fun, feeling healthy. Uh, right now, we, we feel great, so uh, there's no real end in sight. Um, you know, Daniel Nasser is 46. Mm. Uh, we're not going to be getting to 46, uh, but you know, look, it's a great life. Uh, no complaints. The only thing is the time away from the family. You know, I have three kids, so I'm trying to balance. You know, getting back as mm. much as I can. But uh, it's a demanding job. It, it takes uh, a lot of weeks on the road to, to be at the ranking and, and where you want to be your, to meet your goals. To Bob and Mike, thank you so thank much you for guys. being here. You did some great you. stuff you. Um, on Sunday. We did the trip to Blake as well. So we really appreciate you doing that. And like you're saying, keeping uh, doubles alive and well. And we wish you all the best for this year. And take a few slams out on your final year, right. boys. Well, and happy 40th. Yeah. Yeah.